Paul and Silas put into prison because men told lies about them. But they still praised and worshipped God. Soon the judge ordered that Paul and Silas were thrown into jail. The jailer took them into his deepest dungeon. He put their feet in stocks and locked the door, leaving them in darkness. They could not move. As they sat in the dark cell, Paul and Silas began to pray and sing hymns to God. The more they sang, the better they felt. They forgot about their sore backs and ankles. They worshipped God for keeping them alive. They praised God for being with them and looking after them, even in prison. The other prisoners listened in amazement. How could these men sing after being so badly beaten? Around midnight, an earthquake began to shake the prison. The prisoners' chains fell off. The cell doors flew open. They could walk out of prison. The jailer ran out of his house. He saw the open prison doors and was sure that all the prisoners had escaped. He knew the penalty for letting prisoners escape was a painful death. Paul called out to the jailer, Stop! We are all here! The jailer called for lights. He hurried to their cell. Yes! He shouted, They are all here! The jailer took Paul and Silas to his home. He had heard Paul and Silas singing and worshipping God in their cell. As he washed their cuts and bruises, he asked them to tell him more about the God they worshipped. The two men told the wonderful story of Jesus. They told how God had sent his son to die for their sins. The jailer and his family listened carefully, and they decided that they wanted to follow Jesus. Immediately, they joined with Paul and Silas in worshipping God and were baptized. As Paul and Silas left town, they worshipped God for giving them the opportunity to witness to the jailer and his family. They continued to praise God as they traveled to tell others about Jesus. No matter where we are or what happens, we can always praise God too. 